Applying texture in Procreate is super easy and there's multiple ways on how to do it. I shared all of these in my Instagram already, or on my Instagram already, but um, I thought I'm just gonna redo it, especially now that we can do a screen recording and just put them all in one place and show you the different options you have. So I already prepped some layers. So I have some textures here. I have a gradient, um, a pattern that I did and just a normal picture. And then there's different ways you can do it. The most common way, which is my least favorite way, is by erasing. So what you do is um, you add the picture you want to reveal in the background and then you want to fill your layer with the color that you want as your background. And then instead of using the brush, you actually use the eraser. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose a brush that I like, like that. And then you want to reveal your text by just writing. And um, what I don't like about this is that you're not flexible at all. In case you want to move your text around, you will have to go back in and color that. And in case you would like to work with multiple words, if you want to go and mm, change the layout of that, you have to go and select and then move. And it's all just a whole big mess. You have to color it back in. It's just not flexible at all. I would not recommend this method, but that's the one that most people know. Just forget this one and get rid of it. The next one is actually very cool. And I really like that method, especially when I do some gold text, for example. So you want to start with some um, lettering. And what we are doing is we are using alpha lock and basically coloring our words in. This will not work um, if you want to apply um, an actual image, but if you just want to do a gradient or a color, that's how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to take two fingers and swipe to the right. Um, before it was one finger and swipe to the right. And once you've done that, um, it will have this little checkerboard here. This means that just the pixels that have been here are now the layer. So when we go and choose any color and a soft brush like this and color, we will actually color in just a text. And with that, you can do super easy gradients. In case you want that to be a little bit prettier, you can actually go and apply some Gaussian blur and it will just create a beautiful fade. Um, I really like this method. I think it should be used more. And um, yeah, the next method is using the layer mode. And um, for that, I'm just gonna move my gradient over the top. And I'm going to tap the N here. And if we work with a white background, we go ahead into the lighten and change our layer mode to screen. And it will disappear now. So now I'm just going in with some black text and I'm going to write And this is just the layer above will basically um, show up on the black pixels here. So when I move this around, the gradient will still show up and I can add multiple layers here and move them around freely. So this is my preferred method. Um, whenever I work with a white or a black background because it will just work with white or black backgrounds I'm just going to switch the colors now. So I'm making my background black and Using alpha lock. I'm just going to swipe with two fingers to the right on these if it'll take tap it and select fill to change the color 
full and then I'm going to go back into the layer mode I'm going to darken and choose multiply and that's just a reverse method of that now this is great but what if you want to have a texture text without any background because if I remove, remove my background here it will not show up so for that there's one easy way I'm going to use my image layer here so I'm going in with some white text and letter And that's not big enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and write it a little bit smaller. And that's not pretty lot. That's not a pretty lettering, but just ignore that. So now we have some transparent text. What we can do now is just work with selections. So I tap that and hit select. Now just the text is selected, so I can reveal that and then just hit the select button and then hit it again and hold it until it's reselected. Now there's multiple ways how you can do that. You can just inverse it by hitting these two corners here that meet and then um, delete or we can just hit the copy button which is next to the automatic here and then we have a new layer with just the texture that we had. So that's that's the fastest method. You can just delete that in case you don't want it. You can delete that and then you have your textured text without any trans without any background. And um, that's all of the methods. I really hope uh, that helped you out and it wasn't too long. And in case you have still any questions,